Welcome to the fourth week of the shirtless vlog. For any new viewers, what I'm trying to do here is go to the gym twice a week, do no cardio, kind of watch what I eat, but not really count any macros, and see if I can get six-pack abs just doing that. Let's get started. It's Saturday, May 5th, and I'm about to cook my first meal of the day at 11 a.m. I didn't eat dinner last night, so I'm pretty starving. That's why I'm eating a little earlier today. I heated up some leftover Dos Toros, and then I turned it into a nice two-egg omelet. I ordered a tripod, and it finally came. Let me show you guys how I've been filming until now. So when I was cooking, we do a quick stack of this tequila with the salt, and then the phone goes on top. And then when I'm doing the Friday Flex, I take this creatine bottle, put it on top of my computer, like that. And then I balance the phone on that. It's time for meal two, and I'm about to whip up some orange beef with bok choy and scallion rice. It's going to be my last Blue Apron meal. Only about 600 calories, which is great because I'm going out later for dinner. Seem to have lost the orange that Blue Apron gave me, so I guess I'm making not orange beef. Since I'm missing the orange juice, I decided to add a little bit of grapefruit lacroix. This should make the consistency a little bit more similar to if I had the juice, and I was hoping that it would add a little bit of citrus flavor. There's nothing quite like the sound of sizzling beef. Even though I took a little gamble with the seltzer, this turned out great. For dinner, I went to my favorite budget chirashi spot, Shokudo. I had one pork bun, a chirashi bowl, and one small bottle of house sake. Honestly, I think this place is the best budget chirashi in the city. The fish is super fresh, and it's only 19 bucks for the bowl. Overall, today I think we ate pretty well. Pretty good start to the week, especially compared to the last two weeks. Today I'm going to hang a painting on the wall behind me. I definitely need a lot of energy to take on this task, so for my first meal of the day, I'm having leftover orange beef. I sure nailed that. Sizzling up the rest of my Dos Toros with some eggs. I added a little bit of soy sauce and essentially turned this into a stir fry. Look at how much better this is. What a, what a difference a tripod makes, huh? I had a craving for something sweet tonight, so I went and bought these yogurts. I'm gonna make a turkey burger for dinner, keep it light, and have two yogurts. You could barely tell that's even a turkey burger. We obviously didn't forget the steak seasoning this time. Today I ate healthy all day, I got some stuff done around the house. Pretty much the perfect Sunday, if you ask me. Monday for lunch, I'm having some halal food. I got some chicken over some vegetables and lettuce, and I'm also having one of my favorite yogurts as a snack. Later on, I also snacked on a bicycle chocolate. Since I had a light lunch, I splurged on some beef kebab for dinner. Also had a salad with some light dressing. And one more yogurt. Pretty good Monday. A lot of kebab food, but pretty much no carbs, so I think I stayed under 1,700 calories today, honestly. You know what day it is. It's Tuesday. Time for a fierce gym session. You guys aren't going to believe this. My phone died right in the middle of filming. Next week, definitely tune in. I'll have a montage for you. Quick protein shake after the gym. For lunch, I got a half rotisserie chicken platter and a side of some chicken wings. Now, this might look like a ton of food, but I only ate the chicken, I ate the beans and the plantains, and I barely really touched the rice. I also only ate about six to seven of the chicken wings. I had such a big lunch today because I needed to refuel after such a hard gym sesh. For dinner, I'm finishing off the second turkey burger that I made a couple days ago, and I'm also gonna have two glasses of wine. My lunch may have looked really big, but I really didn't eat many of the carbs, and most of the protein I ate was chicken, so it wasn't that high in calories. I think overall today, I probably kept it at around 1,800 calories, including the wine. Wednesday, we're starting off lunch very light, a super green salad base, some chicken, some tuna, and a lot of vegetables. We also found a new delicious yogurt, only 90 calories, tastes exactly like apple pie. Today I'm trying out a restaurant called Pig and Cow with my friends Chris and Jill A. I didn't get to film a cool intro, so this is what you get. We started our meal with a papaya salad. This was pretty good. As you can tell, Chris's shirt immediately went for some. Next we went for a sizzling sea sig, which is a pig's head with some chili and an egg on it. For our third appetizer, we split some cow soy, which is a red curry with some coconut milk, some chicken, some egg noodles, and some red onions and mustard greens. We closed the meal out by splitting half a duck, which was a pretty small portion for three people, and also splitting six barbecue ribs. Overall, this had a lot of diverse flavors and some excellent appetizers. My favorite was probably the curry. It was spicy, it was sweet, it was sour, all in one, and somehow they made it blend perfectly. The entrees were delicious, but very underwhelming in size. We actually ordered the ribs after we got the duck, not simultaneously, because we just were still a little bit hungry. All in all, this place gets one of these guys. You're not gonna believe it, but we actually went to two different dessert spots after this. I followed up that massive dinner with half of an apple pie ice cream and also half of this chocolate mess pudding. Wednesday obviously did not go great. The dessert really put us over the top, and I think even with the five, 600 calorie lunch, 
we probably ended up about 23, 2400 calories for the day. Tomorrow, I'm definitely gonna try and make up for it, finish out the week strong. When I woke up on Thursday, honestly, I was still feeling incredibly full. I didn't actually start to feel hungry until around 1 p.m. I decided to try and take it really light for lunch, have a decently sized dinner, and try to wash away what I did yesterday. For lunch, me and Jilla played mini hot ones where I ate three really spicy chicken wings. And I also had a protein shake, which is more filling than the one I usually drink. For dinner, I made one of the classics, a chicken in a soy garlic marinade, and again, my green beans with fajita vegetables in the spicy sweet soy sauce. Today was a very tame food day and we definitely needed it. We ate probably about 12 to 1300 calories and with today and yesterday, that should average out to about 18 to 1900 calories, which puts us back on track. It's Friday, I took some Mr. Hyde and I can't feel my face so I'm gonna go take that out on the weights. Quick protein shake after the gym. After my protein shake, I ate another super green salad with some spicy broccoli, some chicken and some steak and a tiny, tiny bit of tahini dressing. Closing time. It's the fourth shirtless vlog and the third week since I've been intermittent fasting and watching what I eat. As you guys know, I'm not limiting the foods I can eat, but if I'm having a large meal or an unhealthy meal, I'm gonna offset it with a lighter, healthier meal. This week I saw something I've never seen before, the appearance of my bottom two abs. So have I found it difficult to kind of maintain everything that I'm doing up until this point? Honestly, not really. I'm pretty accustomed to intermittent fasting at this point, so I don't really get hungry until around noon or one. When it comes to that time though, I am starving. I need to eat right then. As long as I do get to eat around the hours that I'm used to though, like 12 or one, I'm not hungry before, it's not tough, I don't get cranky. Keeping my gym activities to twice a week has also been very maintainable for me. I go for an hour to an hour and 15 minutes, like I said. When I'm going to the gym twice a week, I look forward to it, I work out hard, I do all my lifts, full force, no slacking. If I go more than that, or if I throw in cardio, my heart's not in it, and I'm gonna slack on the rest of the lifts, even the ones that I like. And between the gym and the diet and actually seeing results, it's really not that hard to maintain. I think pretty soon I'll be ready to eat at my maintenance calorie level. For the next two, two and a half weeks, I'll probably continue to try and eat at a caloric deficit each day, and then after that, I'll probably just switch to maintenance calories. Without further ado, let's get to the Friday Flex. Let's see where I'm at. lighting, you get a flex, and you do a little skin pull down, you can actually see my bottom two abs starting to form. I've never seen that before in my life, so it's a great indicator that I'm making progress. Next up, the comparison. This week we're going to be looking at weeks one, two, and four because I really messed up the lighting last week. I would say unflexed, the fat around my sides looks a little bit thinner. Lighting really makes a difference in the flex picture. In week two, I think the lighting is much better than the first week and the fourth week, but the bottom of my stomach still looks the best in the fourth week. It looks the flattest by far, even though my abs are protruding a little bit less. This week, honestly, I feel like my results are pretty noticeable. I definitely didn't see the bottom two abs last week. Uh, I could be a placebo, but I definitely feel like I'm making some solid, solid progress. Overall, this week, we had a great week. We were healthy. My shoulder was actually hurting the past couple weeks, and it's been feeling better. I'm back to being able to do every lift that I want to do. There should be about three more vlogs until I actually go on vacation. Let's see what progress I can make. Shirtless vlog, out.